Texas Education Code requires districts to give all professional employees copies of their employment policies and also policies that regard student discipline under Education Code 37.018. And we, as the district, are supposed to offer training on how to access these policies. And this is that training. Go to GatesvilleISD.org and log in using your eChalk password. From your home page, and it doesn't matter which campus on which you're working, click on District Resources. Under District Resources, there are several options, but in order to access these policies, go to the GISD Board Policies regarding Employment and Student Discipline. Download the policies. And at this point, you will need to make a choice. You have to decide whether you want to receive an electronic form of the policies or view them on your computer or you want to print the policies. If you want to print the policies you do have to print them at your own campus and uh, those policy the length of that document is 246 pages. The easiest way is to view them online. You can save the policies to your uh, computer and then you any questions that you have about different s subjects you can search the policy with this blank up at the top and it will search the document and find what you need in the policy save this to your de desktop and you will be able to view this at your computer and because it's available on eChalk you can view it at home or at school once you have done this we as the district need to know or need to have documentation from you saying that you have been trained and that which format you are getting the policies. On the acknowledgement of electronic distribution of policies, click that you have chosen to print a copy of the policies or that you are going to access the policies in electronic electronic format which that is what I'm going to do. This page is enabled for you to submit by me email. You can type in your name as a signature and because the email is coming from your account it is a legally uh, acceptable document. Type in your campus, type in the date, and then click submit by email. Once you do this a box will pop up that is the desktop email application and that's what you want to choose. Click OK and then an email will come will pop up submitting your answers to Marcy Latham. As a school district we would like to receive this documentation by the Friday we get back after the holidays that's January 8, 2010. Please get this information to us as soon as you can.